Price is basically the greatest 100 meter sprinter of all time. With the world watching, Shelly Ann Fraser Price rocketed out of the blocks, her legendary start giving her an early lead, while Sha Carey Richardson, the young sensation, unleashed a blistering final surge. The clash between the seasoned champion and the rising star was everything we hoped for and more. But as they crossed the finish line, one question lingered in everyone's mind. Did we just witness the dawn of a new era or the solidification of a legendary legacy? I really like the stadium, don't you? Beijing 2008, World Championships 2015. Yeah, I like the stadium. Shelly Ann Fraser Price is truly a legend in the world of sprinting. If you've followed her career even a little, you know she's one of the most consistent and dominant athletes the sport has ever seen. From her Olympic debut in 2008 to the present day, Fraser Price has been a force to be reckoned with. She first burst onto the scene at the Beijing Olympics, where she won the gold medal in the 100M, becoming the first Caribbean woman to do so. She followed that up with another gold in London 2012 and a bronze in Rio 2016. But it hasn't just been the Olympics where she's shown. She's also a five-time world champion in the 100M. That's a level of consistency and excellence that's hard to match. What's fascinating is that Fraser Price isn't just about winning. She's about doing it with style and grace. Over the years, she's maintained her form and speed, even after taking time off to have a child. From 2008 to 2024, she's been at the top of her game, which is remarkable considering the physical demands of sprinting. Most sprinters peak in their early 20s and start to decline soon after. But Fraser Price has defied those odds, continuing to perform at the highest level well into her 30s. It's like watching a master at work every time she steps on the track. Now, as we look forward to the Paris 2024 Olympics, there's a lot of buzz around the possibility of Fraser Price winning her third Olympic gold in the 100M. This would be historic, not just for her, but for the sport as a whole. You see, no female sprinter has ever won three Olympic golds in the 100M. The closest anyone has come is winning two, like Wyoming Atias in the 1960s and Gail Devers in the 90s. If Fraser Price manages to clinch that third gold, it would solidify her status as the greatest female sprinter of all time. It's like chasing a dream that no one has quite been able to reach, and she's right on the cusp of making history. One of the key reasons behind Fraser Price's success is her explosive start. In the world of sprinting, the start can make or break a race, and Fraser Price is known for having one of the best starts in the history of women's sprinting. Her nickname, Pocket Rocket, isn't just for show. When the gun goes off, she's like a rocket out of the blocks, often leaving her competitors in the dust within the first 60 meters. This isn't just natural talent. It's the result of years of technical training and experience. She knows how to harness every ounce of power in those crucial opening moments of the race, setting herself up for a strong finish. But it's not just her start that's impressive. It's her overall technical prowess. Sprinting is a highly technical sport, and Fraser Price has mastered every aspect of it. From her posture and stride length to her breathing and focus, she's got it all down to a science. This level of expertise doesn't come overnight. It comes from years of meticulous training and experience. And it's not just about physical fitness, it's also about mental toughness. Fraser Price has shown time and again that she can handle the pressure of big competitions delivering her best performances when it matters most. Shikari Richardson has taken the sprinting world by storm, and it's been nothing short of thrilling to watch her rise. She burst onto the scene with her electrifying performances and unique style, quickly establishing herself as a force to be reckoned with. Richardson's personal best in the 100M is an impressive 10.71 seconds, making her one of the fastest women in the world today. It's not just the time she's posting, it's the way she runs with such confidence and flair. You can't help but get excited when she steps onto the track because you know something special is about to happen. Eight seconds. This weekend, 1067. Faster at 35. However, Richardson's journey hasn't been without its challenges. She missed out on the Tokyo Olympics, a significant setback that could have derailed her career. 
but instead of letting it hold her back, she came back stronger and more determined than ever. Her performance at the World Championships in Budapest was a turning point. She clinched the world title, running a sensational race from lane 9, which is typically considered a disadvantage. Her championship record time of 10.65 seconds was a statement to the world that she was back and better than ever. Since then, she's had an undefeated season leading up to the Paris Games, proving her consistency and mental toughness. What sets Richardson apart is not just her raw speed, but her incredible finishing ability. She's known for her explosive closing speed, which has often seen her storm past competitors in the final stages of a race. This capability makes her a formidable opponent, especially if she can get a good start. While her starts haven't always been her strongest point, her ability to finish strongly more than makes up for it. It's this combination of speed and determination that makes her a favorite heading into any race. Richardson's vibrant personality is another aspect that has captured global attention. She's not just an athlete, she's a character. From her brightly colored hair to her outspoken nature, she brings a certain flair to the sport that is both refreshing and captivating. She's unafraid to express herself, whether it's celebrating her victories or addressing controversies. This authenticity resonates with fans around the world, making her not just a star on the track, but also a cultural icon. Her presence goes beyond athletics, influencing fashion, culture, and even social issues, which is rare for a sprinter. When it comes to the technical aspects of sprinting, both Shelly Ann Fraser-Price and Shaq Harry Richardson bring their unique strengths and challenges to the table, making their matchup in the 100M race incredibly intriguing. For Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, her start and acceleration are legendary. She's often referred to as the pocket rocket for a reason. Right from the blocks, she explodes with a force that leaves her competitors scrambling to catch up. Her 60M split times are particularly impressive, with records showing she clocked the fastest split ever at 6.81 seconds during the 2019 World Championships in Doha. This kind of start gives her a crucial advantage, especially in a race as short as the 100M, where every millisecond counts. At 37, maintaining this explosive start is no small feat, but Fraser Price has managed to keep her reaction times sharp and her acceleration phase powerful. In a high-stakes race like the Olympics, a perfect start is even more critical. Given her age, she has to be flawless because any minor hiccup could be harder to recover from compared to her younger competitors. But if she nails it, her experience and form make her incredibly tough to beat. On the other hand, Shakari Richardson is known for her electrifying finishing kick. While her starts have sometimes been a point of vulnerability, her closing speed more than compensates. Once she hits her stride, she's like a freight train, powering through the final meters with a burst of energy that can outpace nearly anyone. This ability to finish strong is a significant asset, especially if she can stay within striking distance of the leaders by the halfway mark. However, the start remains a critical area for Richardson. In sprinting, a poor start can leave you playing catch-up, and against a starter as strong as Fraser Price, that gap can become insurmountable. Richardson's Olympic debut adds another layer of complexity, the psychological aspect of stepping onto the world's biggest stage for the first time cannot be underestimated. The Olympics come with a unique set of pressures, from the expectations of fans and media to the weight of representing your country. How Richardson handles this pressure will be crucial. Will she thrive under the spotlight or will nerves affect her performance? It's a big question mark, but if her past performances are any indication, she has the mental fortitude to rise to the occasion. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.